yes, now we jump into the time of the day where Nick gets to tell us and show us that he doesn't know dick about the CFL. When a pet kicker makes a kick, if SAS, SAS <laughs> offense gets 20 yards in the second half and control the game like they were doing the whole first half, I look like a freaking genius. So, How was the game? I was just dead on wrong about that. I can't even say shit about so, that. So, so the first game of the week is BC at well, Winnipeg. Why y'all do this to me? BC is a three and a half point <laughs> <What>? favorite. <laughs> Winnipeg's at home, right? Yes. Winnipeg's at home, right? Winnipeg has won their last two games at home, right? Winnipeg yes. is notoriously known for winning all their games at home, right? Winnipeg season is on the line, right? There are two and five they need. So two and six, they need to win this week. Give me BC off the bye week. <laughs> With the points also? <laughs> what? Three and mm. a half? Give me, no, 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 no. This game comes down to the end. Um, BC gets the win, but give me BC for okay. the win, Winnipeg for the points. And then we have Montreal at Hamilton. Montreal's a four and a half point favorite. Um. They get their quarterback back. Their defense is rolling. As, as much as Bo Levi is rolling, uh, give me Montreal to win that game. And the points? And the points, give me Montreal. All right. And then we jump into Friday. Is that Friday? No, it's Saturday. Saturday. Okay. I, Edmonton I, I, and Saskatchewan. Trey Ford will make this game interesting and fun, and he will make it a problem for Saz. He will give them everything they can handle, especially stopping the run game up for them and then containing him in the pocket. They did a pretty good job last year until Trey Ford got it rolling later on. But um, give me um, Saz to win this game and give me – Five and a half? Uh, give me uh, – <laughs> Well, they're five and a half point underdogs. They should be double-digit dogs. They're getting the shit kicked out of them, for Christ's sake. You no, know, the, the, the quarterback changed this week. No, remember the beginning of the year, they were only losing by three. And now, all of a sudden, well, they, saw, they just got drop-kicked by a yeah, team that's so not very good. Give me Sass and give me Sass with the points. That's how I feel. All right. And the final game of the week is Toronto at Calgary. Toronto's a three-and-a-half-point underdog. Calgary's three points. I don't know how they do these these, these lines. Calgary's a three point favorite. They could do it by so. like I told you, it's the points so of the odds for putting it one way or the other. Yeah. Um, give, right. me, so give me Calgary the three. Give me Calgary with the points. Um, then yeah, give me Calgary. Toronto have a quarterback situation that is just not good. Um, Nick Arbuckle replaced the starting quarterback last week, so Winnipeg not the quarterback out that week also, and they bring in the uh, the backup and he does shit. And I think Calgary gets back in the role on – they get back in, in the win column at home. I'm going to go with the home team. I, I haven't been going with the home team as much, and it's been it's been my downfall. So I'm going to believe in them. I'm going to roll with the home team, and that's how it's going this week. There you have it, folks. Those are Nick's picks of the week.